And Cassandra Perkins was shot to death yesterday. It plunged some of her neighbors into an emotional tailspin. Sarah Hollenbeck joins us now with some neighbors who are having a tough time even looking at the house where Perkins was killed. Neighbors tell me they're rocked to the core. Belcher seemed to have it all. A gorgeous girlfriend, a newborn daughter, and a successful career. In a moment's time, he chose to end it all. There's an eerie silence in this Kansas City neighborhood. The crime scene tape and investigators are gone. And the home Cassandra Perkins and Jovan Belcher shared with their newborn daughter doesn't look much different than any other home on the street. But it's the feeling, neighbors say, that's different. It'll be a while before the area probably gets totally back to normal. Um, but we'll continue in prayer. Neighbors on a Sunday stroll glanced over at the house, wondering how anyone could harm a young mother. It's just heartbreaking. Derek Chenault visited the home a month ago while trick-or-treating with his mother. How close it actually was to my house. If he would have walked up the street and could have hurt more people. Neighbors say the house has been empty since police left. Only one bouquet of flowers remains on the doorstep. Devaney Dunson Rusher felt compelled to leave something for Perkins, a woman she swapped pregnancy secrets with. Everyone she met fell in love with her. She was amazing, a really good friend. Today, neighbors pointed to security cameras attached to the couple's window. How ironic, they remarked, that the young mother was concerned about protecting her little family from the outside world, when the man who slept next to her was the biggest threat of all. The question on everyone's mind is why? What could have propelled someone to take their own life and someone that they loved? The couple's friends tell us they had a troubled relationship, adding that the pair argued late into the night on Friday after Perkins came home late from a concert. Right now, police are investigating what drove Belcher over the edge. Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News.